What's up guys, I'm Nomadic. Today we're at the ninth episode of the Ableton series. Like I say in every video, if you haven't seen the ones before this, go right back to the first episode so you can see how everything kind of just flows to this point. So now we're almost at the end. So today we're gonna be talking about how you can kind of just take all your ideas that you put together in the session view and how you can take that and how you can kind of just convert that into the arrangement view so you can start to actually build build your song out of all those ideas and from from all those clips and stuff so I'm gonna show you how you can do that in this episode so check it out okay so now we've built up a bunch of ideas we have a bunch of tracks and we're still in this uh, the session view and we want to take this sort of like scatterbrain just like ideas palette and we want to take this and we want to actually start to begin to progress into a finished song right so the question is, how do I go from this view to arrangement view, which is the linear view, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So in the session view right now, we have all these clips playing. If you want to turn off the clips uh, from from looping and just keep playing over and over, you can click this button right here, which is gonna shut all the clips off, or you can you can shut them off individually by clicking them one by one in these little squares. So I'm gonna reset them so we can hear everything kind of just how it sounds from from the get-go. So just go through everything so you can hear it all. So we have this guitar with this percussion, with this bass, with this one shot, with these chords, With this kick, with this snare, with this hi hat. So let's say we're happy with that and we like how those all sound together, right? So all you need to do, there's two ways you can do this. You can either individually click on the clip and drag it over to the clip view or the arrangement view and actually just drag and drop the clip right in here and do that one by one until you actually build it or what I like to do is actually just record it straight in so this this sounds exactly the way I want so if you just click the record button and you hit the tab key which will switch to the other view you can see it's already just recording everything straight in but I wanted to I wanted to start at zero so I'm just gonna delete this I'm gonna start this at zero, and then record. So that sounds pretty good, but I wanna actually use that to like lay down the foundation of the song, right? So right now, the session view is active hence the reason why these clips are grayed out so if you want to switch from this view to this view again you just click this button up here you could click it down here or you could click it up here and then I'll kind of just turn off session view so now you can actually work in arrangement view and see what you're doing so now the process of building the song begins so I'm just gonna take this and kind of shorten it I think uh, you know, I want to start out with the guitar, maybe as like the intro, but nothing else. So I'm going to just hit Control D to duplicate this. I'm going to turn this off, all these drums. Turn off this percussion here. Uh, turn off this guitar, these chops that I had made earlier. Turn all this other stuff off. Maybe just start with the guitar. So start with that. I like that. And you know, actually, I'm gonna duplicate that so I can uh, turn some of this stuff off. I think I think it's gonna come in too too quick. I don't want this here. I don't want these drums coming in yet. Maybe have it like this. 
Yeah, I don't want I don't want the bass yet. It just sounds like too much. And then drop into the beat. And then maybe take the strings out. Yeah, that sounds good. And if you want to loop anything, this selector that I that I've been been grabbing, this lets you loop any particular section you want. So I usually like to find a spot that like sounds pretty good, and then I, if you click this button, it turns the loop on. So it's just gonna keep looping the section. And then that's really all you need to do. You just go like that. And then you can go back to your palette of ideas and then, you know, find another idea that you had for, for anything and just drag and drop whatever it is you, you came up with. Maybe you came up with another chord progression or something. Just drag and drop it. And just piece by piece, that's how you arrange your song in Ableton. And that's really it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. All right, so that was today's episode. Next week is going to be the last, uh, the last episode, and we're going to be talking about how you can take all these ideas that you put together after it's arranged, how you can engineer it so it sounds pretty nice and clean, and how to export your song once it's done. So I'll see you next week.